Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about absolute value equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, the absolute value of negative 3p equals 15. So, the absolute value of negative 3p equals 15. Well, once the absolute value is isolated by itself, I then can break it apart into two equations. We have the negative 3p equals positive 15, we take a positive 15, and negative 3p, what's inside the absolute value, equals, opposite of that, the negative 15, okay? So negative 3p equals positive 15, and negative 3p equals a negative 15. I then solve each equation individually. I divide by 3 to both sides. p equals 15 divided by negative 3, which is a negative 5. Divide this side by negative 3 as well leaving me with p equals negative 15 divided by negative 3 is a positive 5. And so my two answers are negative 5 and positive 5. So to write it in one nice statement, p equals lower number first, negative 5, comma, positive 5. And there we go. That's our final answer. So let's recap. We started with the absolute value of negative 3p equals 15. The negative 3p was isolated. It's already by itself. So... When that happens, I can break them apart into two equations, the absolute value. So the absolute value here comes down without the absolute value, right? It kind of doesn't make sense saying it that way, but it's all good. Negative 3p here, negative 3p there, and then we have positive 15 and negative 15. Break that apart to positive and negative. Then with negative 3p equals positive 15. We divide by negative 3 to both sides. It got me a negative 5 here. Divide by negative 3 to both sides here. Got me a positive 5. Remember, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And so we have two answers, negative 5 and 5. I wrote it in one final statement from least to greatest. P equals a negative 5, comma, 5.